everybody, it's Julia from Darn Good Yarn, and I'm here to talk to you about merino wool. So as I'm sure most of you know, merino wool is super popular, and I want to give you like a little backstory on what it is, and also tell you about our awesome merino wools that we have in the shop. So merino wool comes from fiber that is from merino sheep, so they're a special type of sheep, and it's really known for its softness, its shine, and its breathability. Um, so going through the winter, it's really nice to have a nice cozy wool on a sweater or a hat or something like that. But also as you go into warmer months, since it has that nice breathability factor, lighter merino wools but would be awesome for like summer tanks or something like that as well. So I'll dive into what we have to offer you for Merino Wool. I'll first talk about Malabrigo and then I'll get into our own brand. So Malabrigo is from South America and they are all Merino Wool and we offer many different types of them. So this is Noob, which is roving. So roving, if you're a spinner, you know what this is. Um, this is how you make yarn. You have kind of like this thicker wool and then it gets spun down into yarn um, but this is also really great for tapestry weaving if you any of you guys are tapestry weavers i'm having this nice pop of texture and um kind of different size yarn makes the tapestry weaving really nice and um, we also have malabrigo worsted which is called oh just worsted um, so this is a really nice one as well worsted i think is my favorite just because if it gets too thin my patience runs pretty pretty thin. Um, so I really love the worsted one. Then we also have a bulky one, which is called Mecha. And we have sock yarn as well. Kelsey and I were just talking about this earlier. This color on this is so gorgeous. And then we have Machita, which is like these really beautifully kind of I want to say polka dot, but that's not the, not the right word. Um, but really beautifully dyed yarn that is just so gorgeous with the different pops of colors. So that is Malabrigo. We also have a few others of Malabrigo too, um, but we just got in this new shipment of Merino wool that is our brand, which I absolutely love. So you can go through the different colors for you. Um, so this is sock yarn. It is 75% Merino and 25% nylon because you want that stretch in there for it, knitting something like a sock or crocheting something like a sock. So this first color is succulent green, and I also crocheted up some swatches so you can kind of see how they pool. Um, but this is how the succulent green pools. I think it has some really nice striping effects with this one. Um, the lines of the dye lines are pretty long, so that's why you get these nice kind of striping. It also depends on how you knit it and how wide you knit it. And then next up, I think this is the office's favorite. Everybody's been saying it looks very 80s vibes, um, but this is Candy Pop. So it has, whoops, has these blues and yellows and pinks and pops of black and white as well. Um, so this would be super fun in like a sweater or a hat or something like that. Next up is Canyon Trails. So I think if you like more of like muted neutral tones, this would be a good one for you um, because these oranges are pretty muted as well as those nice pops of like that tan, um, which is really great for people who don't like the bright colors. And then we have Icy Waterfalls. I know you guys love blue. I think blue is one of our most popular colors here among our yarns. Um, so this one is really fun and I love the little pops of the turquoise in this one because it just has this little section right here. So that means you'll just get kind of tiny ones. And when you're working with um, variegated yarns like this, I when you're kind of crocheting it up or knitting it up, one of the most fun parts for me is like just seeing at the end where all the colors pooled and where everything kind of showed up in the piece. Um, so that's what I love about using yarns that aren't just a solid color. And then I'm ending here with my favorite. So this is Black Sangria. Um, and it's these beautiful pops of maroon and black and white and gray. And they just fade so beautifully into each other. And I think this is also a really great winter color. I know maroon is popular right now and also Black, white, and gray will always be popular. Um, so this is a good option for winter colors. And those are our merino wool options. If you have any questions, let me know and I'd be happy to answer for you. See ya. Thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more crafty tutorials and tips, hit the subscribe button.